Hello everyone, let's discuss about motion graphs in this video. Acceleration is defined as, the rate of change of velocity, or, change in velocity, divided by, time taken for that change. Acceleration is a vector quantity, because it has both magnitude, and direction. Acceleration is expressed as, change in velocity, divided by, time taken for that change. In simple, A, is equal to, V minus U, divided by, T. In SI system, acceleration is expressed as, meter per second square. Whereas, in CGS system, it is expressed as, centimeter per second square. Let's understand acceleration, with an example. Consider, a car at position A, with initial velocity 20 meter per second, takes a time of 5 seconds, to reach position B. And after reaching position B, final velocity of the car is, 30 meter per second. Then, acceleration of the car is, obtained by using the formula, change in velocity, divided by, time taken for that change. Which is equal to, V minus U, divided by, T. By substituting final velocity, V is 30 meter per second, initial velocity, U is 20 meter per second, and time taken, T is 5 seconds. We get acceleration as, 2 meter per second. Now let's discuss about various types of acceleration with examples. If the velocity of the body is increasing with respect to time, then the acceleration of the body is said to be positive acceleration. Consider a car moving initially with a velocity of 20 meter per second, takes 5 seconds to reach final point, with a final velocity of 30 meter per second. Then acceleration is said to be positive acceleration, as there is an increase in velocity, from 20 meter per second to 30 meter per second. If the velocity of the body is, decreasing with respect to time, the acceleration of the body is said to be, negative acceleration, or retardation or, deceleration. Consider a car moving initially with a velocity of 30 meter per second, takes 5 seconds to reach final point, with a final velocity of 20 meter per second. Then acceleration is said to be negative acceleration, as there is a decrease in velocity, from 30 meter per second to 20 meter per second. If the velocity of the body is, constant with respect to time, then the acceleration of the body is said to be, zero acceleration. Consider a car moving initially with a velocity of 20 meter per second, takes 5 seconds to reach final point, with the constant velocity, of 20 meter per second. Then acceleration is said to be zero acceleration, as there is no change in velocity. If the velocity of the body, changes by an equal amount, in every equal time period, then the acceleration is said to be, uniform or constant acceleration. For example, consider a bike at position A, with velocity 10 meter per second takes 5 seconds to reach position B, then, acceleration of the bike is 2 meter per second square. Now, the bike from position B with velocity 20 meter per second takes 10 seconds to reach position C, then, acceleration of the bike is 2 meter per second square. Again, the bike from position C with velocity 30 meter per second takes 15 seconds to reach position D, then, acceleration of the bike is 2 meter per second square. In all the cases, the acceleration is uniform, that is, 2 meter per second square. Now, let's understand various types of motion graphs. There are mainly three types of motion graphs, they are, 1. Displacement, time graph, 2. Velocity, time graph, 3. Acceleration, time graph, in which, mainly we consider displacement and velocity graphs at this stage. At first, let's discuss about displacement time graphs. Displacement time graph provides information about the motion of an object. The slope of displacement time graph gives us the velocity of the object. When the displacement time graph obtained, is a straight line parallel to time axis, then, the object is said to be stationary, that is, the body is not moving, or, it is at rest. The graph shows that, the object is at rest, or, stationary. As the displacement is constant with respect to time, so the velocity and slope of the object is, zero. Let's consider the displacement time graph, when the object is moving with, uniform velocity. When displacement time graph is, a straight line but not parallel to time axis, then the object is said to be moving with, uniform motion. 
The following table shows the displacement time values, obtained by an object moving along a straight line path. Then, by taking displacement on y-axis, and time on x-axis, from the above table, a graph is plotted as shown. Now, to obtain slope of the line, we need to consider any two points on the line. Let's consider the points, 2 comma 1, and 10 comma 5, from the table, to obtain the slope, where, slope is obtained by the formula, y2 minus y1, divided by, x2 minus x1, which is equal to, 10 minus 2, divided by, 5 minus 1, which gives the slope as 2 meter per second. From the graph, we can say that the displacement of the object is, increasing with respect to time, so slope is said to be positive, displacement divided by time gives us velocity, as the graph obtained is a straight line, the object is said to be moving with, a uniform velocity of 2 meter per second. When displacement time graph is, a straight line but not parallel to time axis, then the object is said to be moving with, uniform motion. The following table shows, the displacement time values obtained by an object moving along a straight path. Then, by taking displacement on y axis, and time on x axis, from the above table, a graph is plotted as shown. Now, to obtain slope of the line, we need to consider any two points on the line. Let's consider the points. 10, 0, and 6, 2, from the table, to obtain the slope, where, slope is obtained by the formula, y2 minus y1, divided by, x2 minus x1, which is equal to, 10 minus 6, divided by, 0 minus 2, which gives the slope as minus 2 meter per second. From the graph, we can say that the displacement of the object is, decreasing with respect to time, so slope is said to be negative, displacement divided by time gives us velocity. As the graph obtained as a straight line, the object is said to be moving with, a uniform velocity of 2 meter per second. Let's now discuss about, velocity time graphs in detail with examples. Velocity time graph provides information about the motion, and displacement of an object. The slope of velocity time graph gives, the acceleration of the object. While, the area under the curve gives, the displacement covered by the object. When velocity time graph is, a straight line parallel to time axis, then the object is said to be moving with, constant velocity. The following is the graph obtained, when the object is moving with uniform velocity of, 10 meter per second. As the velocity is constant, slope of the graph is zero, so acceleration is also zero. Displacement of the graph is obtained by considering the area under the graph, here, the graph obtained is in the shape of a rectangle, so by taking area under the graph as, area of rectangle, which is, length multiplied by breadth, that is, velocity multiplied by time from the graph, which is 10 into 4, equals to 40 meters. When the velocity time graph is, a straight line with increasing slope, then the object is said to be moving with, uniform acceleration. The following table shows, the velocity time values obtained by an object moving along a straight path. Then, by taking velocity on y-axis, and time on x-axis, a graph is plotted, from the values of above table. Slope of the graph will give us, acceleration, which is equal to, change in velocity, divided by, change in time, which is y2 minus y1, divided by, x2 minus x1. Now to obtain the slope of the line, let us consider two points, 4 comma 2, and 8 comma 4 from the graph, which gives an acceleration of 2 meter per second square. Now, displacement of the object can be obtained by considering, the area under the graph, here, the area formed by the graph, is in the shape of a triangle, but, area of the triangle is, half, base into height, so, area under the graph is, half, velocity into time, therefore, by substituting velocity and time values from the graph, we get displacement is 16 meters. When the velocity time graph is, a straight line with decreasing slope, then the object is said to be moving with, uniform retardation, or deceleration. The following table shows, the velocity time values obtained by an object moving along a straight path. Then, by taking velocity on y-axis, and time on x-axis, a graph is plotted, from the values of above table. Slope of the graph will give us, negative acceleration, as the velocity is decreasing with respect to time which is equal to, change in velocity, divided by, 
change in time, which is y2 minus y1, divided by, x2 minus x1. Now to obtain the slope of the line, let us consider two points, 8 comma 0, and 4 comma 2 from the graph, which gives a negative acceleration of minus 2 meter per second square. Now, displacement of the object can be obtained by considering, the area under the graph, here, the area formed by the graph, is in the shape of a triangle, but, area of the triangle is, half, base into height, so, area under the graph is, half, velocity into time, therefore, by substituting velocity and time values from the graph, we get displacement is 16 meters. Thanks for watching this video.